Many research groups have been focusing uh, efforts on developing algorithms which detect CMVs or copy number variants from whole exome sequencing data. And these research groups have benchmarked uh, their algorithms on uh, research or control samples and these give great insights into uh, the reliability and sensitivity of these algorithms. But these are yet less uh, suitable for uh, evaluating their clinical utility. We performed uh, whole exome sequencing on 10 patients with known pathogenic uh, CMVs. These were 12 in total. And um, we also uh, performed two additional high resolution microarray experiments on these samples to serve as an independent uh, validation of our uh, whole exome sequencing calls, uh, but also to uh, study the breakpoint accuracy of uh, whole exome sequencing uh, approaches. From our results, we see that uh, there was one algorithm which uh, performed best, that was uh, Conifer, developed by a group of Evan Eichler. And uh, this algorithm detected 11 of the 12 pathogenic CMVs. And the one CMV which was missed represented a single exon event, deletion event. Uh, so this was particularly hard to detect. Um, also, we see that from all the rare coding events in these patients containing three or more exons, 88% was picked up. And if we extrapolate that onto the CMVs, which are detected by routine medium resolution microarray screening, we see that about 96% of all clinically relevant CMVs that we currently detect would have been detected by this algorithm. So we conclude that CMV detection from whole exome sequencing is applicable in a clinical setting. So CMV detection from whole exome sequencing data can improve diagnostic yield and is especially uh, valuable when no prior screening has been performed by microarrays. And as the detection methods get better and as they get combined with point mutation and indel detection, these methods might start to uh, Im be implemented as a single genetic test in a clinical practice. And we hope you enjoy reading the paper.